what's up, people? I am here for always, as always, every Monday, Raw Review. And tonight's show was really good. I thought definitely, you know... I mean, they probably had to put on a good show, because, as of all heard, Seth Rollins is injured. I'm going to get my opinions on that. Hold on. I'm going to give my opinions on it, because I really didn't talk about it at all last week, so I'm going to talk about it here. <clears throat> it sucks, you know, and I'm going to be honest. I wasn't the biggest fan of his title run, but, you know, it sucks because Rollins, I didn't want it to end this way. I mean, he's had it for so long. He had it for about close to eight months now. And it just ends because of an injury, which sucks, you know. And you guys, had, like I said, wasn't a fan of his title run, really, but I don't want, I didn't want it to end like that. But, you know, I hope he comes back as a babyface. I think this would be the perfect opportunity to wait, you know, because he's going to be out six to nine months, so that's pretty serious. So he's m most likely missing WrestleMania. Because, I mean, a torn, a an ACL is, a torn ACL is a pretty serious injury. So that sucks. So that's pretty much so now it's announced. I'll just get to the show now. Triple H kicks off the show and announces that it's going to be a tournament to determine who will be the WWE champion at Survivor Series. So it's going to apparently start tonight. So, so far that's really what the show was about was the tournament matches. <clears throat> so Triple H kicks off the show. And, um, and, so yeah, and Triple H, yeah, he talks about Seth Rollins, and then he talks about, um, the tournament, and then Roman Reigns comes out, and then Triple H says, hey, this could be your opportunity, we can give you a, he basically wants, basically he wants Triple Reigns to join him in the authority, because he says, if you do, you could already be in the finals, so you can already just be you, and then now whoever wins the tournament will have to face Roman, because Roman, because he won the chance to face, he was supposed to face Seth Rollins until he got injured. So, and then Reigns declines because, you know, morals. And then, so he has, the first tournament match is Big Show. He, great, very, Reigns faces Big Show, whatever match, Reigns wins. I low key, I'm just sick of Big Show. I'm sorry, I am. Because <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I just, honestly, I just don't even care when Big Show comes out anymore. I'm just like... This is my thing on that. But, yeah, Reigns wins. And then the second, well, uh, there was a second tournament match. It was Kevin Owens versus Titus O'Neil. Kevin Owens cuts a promo talking about, like, calling the European fans dumb. Because they're, they're in England tonight. So, um, and he surprisingly, Kevin Owens faced Titus, Titus O'Neil. Titus O'Neil looked pretty good in this match. I assumed this was just going to be a squash match. That's what I thought this really was. It was going to be a squash match. Titus will have a little bit of offense, but then Kevin Owens wins in the end. No, Titus looked pretty good. So, and he won. Kevin Owens won um, with the um, pop-up powerbomb. I like that move. I ain't going to lie. It's probably my favorite move right now. It used to be the curve stomp, and they got rid of it. So, yeah, next is Paige versus Becky. Um, first, it was Paige getting interviewed by Renee Young. And there you go. And then Paige faced... This is a decent match, though. Becky won by holding Paige's tights, because Paige was trying to do the same thing, and then she messed up, and then Becky rolled her up. And then Paige attacked her after the match, put her in the PTO on top of the announce table. Then Charlotte came out and rest, not pretty much rescued Becky, and then Paige ran off. So, we'll see where this goes. I'm interested in this, surprisingly. The next tournament match is Ziggler and The Miz. Ziggler won. <laughs> That's really it. What's weird is... The only weird thing is, like... Aren't, isn't him and, like, Tyler Breeze supposed to be feuding? And they didn't even interact at all last night. Tonight, they... I thought Tyler Breeze was gonna screw over Ziggler. That didn't happen. Ziggler just won. And then Natalia face now. I really I left during this, so I missed this. I I went I went to get uh go to in and out. I had to go to in and out. I'll play local for a second. So yeah, I missed this. But apparently Naomi won. 
And then Sasha, I guess, attacked her. I didn't watch this, so. Next was Sheamus. And I guess Sheamus and Barrett are the tag team now? Yeah, this is another tournament match. So, yeah. Why can't Barrett be a babyface? Why is he still doing this King Barrett bullshit? I mean, I guess him and Sheamus are a tag team now. They're not really explaining that. I mean, I'm not against it, I guess, because we do need more tag teams right now, so I'm not entirely against it. It's just, like, you got to explain it, you know? It's not really explaining anything. And then Barrett won. Oh, I guess Del Rio came out and cut a promo. I missed that. Oh, I actually watched this. Sorry, I skipped that part. Del Rio and, um, and, uh, I'm sorry, my mind's like... Del Rio and Zeb Coulter came out and talked about Max America, and they pretty much talked shit about Europe, <laughs> basically. So yeah, Sheamus fought uh, Cesaro. This is a really good match. This match was long. I didn't think it was going to be that long of a match. I guess Sheamus didn't win because he was Mr. Money in the Bank, or he is Mr. Money in the Bank. I hope he never cashes that in, by the way. I don't want to see Sheamus as U.S. champion. I mean, as WWE champion, I don't want to see it. And that's another thing. Can we stop calling it the U.S., I mean, the WWE World Heavyweight title? It's a stupid name. I'm sorry. Can we just call it the WWE Championship at this point? Because that's really what it is. It's just the WWE Championship. Whatever. But it was a pretty good match between Cesaro and, Bear and uh, Sheamus. Cesaro won because, uh, I guess... A player from the Wayne Rooney, he's a soccer player, and apparently, yeah, he slapped, I guess Barrett got in his face, and Wayne slapped him, Sheamus got distracted, and then Cesaro rolled him up for the win. I'm actually happy Cesaro won the match. So it's going to be Cesaro and Roman. So two baby faces. It's a two baby face match. I actually like that. I like that they're changing the dynamic of the match, you know, baby faces are winning. I actually like that aspect, baby faces going against each other. Then after this was um, Ambrose versus Tyler Breeze. Let me, I hate Tyler Breeze. I hate the gimmick. The gimmick is terrible. He can't talk. His voice is just so nasally and just, guys, I just don't like the gimmick. The gimmick to me is just garbage. He comes out with his little selfie dildo stick. That's what I'm calling it, a dildo selfie stick. This gimmick is just terrible. And then Summer Rae is awful. I've never liked Summer Rae. You know, it, I'm just not liking this. And it's not even going anywhere, you know. Because I thought him and fucking Ziggler were feuding, but it doesn't even, that's not, that didn't even happen this week. Ambrose won by roll-up, which I'm happy Ambrose won. Because I was like, please don't have Z fucking Ambrose lose to fucking Tyler Breeze. But Ambrose won the match, thankfully. So I guess Ambrose is facing Ziggler. So baby face is facing each other again. Then, the, um, close to the main event. I guess the main event match, technically. New Day taking on the Usos and Neville. It's a decent tag six-man match. It's a filler just to set up the main event. And um, it was really good. It was okay. Um, New, New Day won was Avery Woods rolled up uh, Neville. So, there you go. Then the ending main event segment is the Wyatt family. Well, technically Bray Wyatt making tribute to uh, Undertaker and Kane. He actually came up by himself, and he talks about, like, the spirits, and then, um, something happened, Taker's music hits, all oh, the video that they showed last week played again, and then Bray, and then the pyro came out, happened, and then Bray and Taker, I mean, Taker and Kane came out together, so do Taker's music, and they're about to attack Bray, and then the Wyatt family show up, then they just pretty much, Kane and Undertaker dismantle the Wyatts, I mean, they choke, double choke, slam Harper and Rowan, and then they threw out a, threw out a branch, drove him through the over the announce table, and then they double choke slam Bray. This was a pretty sick closing segment. I thought this was pretty sick. So I'm guessing it's gonna be four on two. That's what it seemed like. That's where they're going for in that direction. Four on two. I'm cool with it. I'm open to this, man. This is pretty sick. Seeing them come out and double choke slam um, Bray and just. I love the Brothers of Destruction. I've always have, so. Yeah. 
But other than that, I gotta say, Raw was pretty good tonight. I thought this was one of the better shows we've had in a while, but other than that, um, I'm gonna, of course, sign off, and then I'll do videos, more videos this week, and then, yeah. So I'm gonna sign off, and, uh, see you guys next time. Peace!